Okay, what I have here is a uh, Snow Performance Water Methanol Boost Cooler Injection. This is a Stage 3. Uh, in Snow Performance, when you order this, they ask you what kind of horsepower that you have and things like that so they can pack the right equipment for you. Now, I did order a two and a half gallon reservoir. I also opted in keeping the three quart one just in case I needed a new lid or if the two and a half doesn't fit I can still place this one somewhere in the vehicle or I may use it for something completely different. Uh, it was only a ten dollar difference so I just kept it in. Uh, I did order a safe injection gauge. Now in order the gauge to work what you needed to opt in to purchase is the the uh, safe injection module. Safe injection module goes all in conjunction. Sorry about the wind. I know it's probably going to be really windy right now uh, where I'm at. Now, uh, there's a couple of things here. I want to show you that it comes in the package. Now, when you order the two and a half gallon reservoir you get lots of extra hosing you get a floater to let you know that you know hey my water level is going down safe part of the safe injection too you have instruction manuals that have everything here in there I mean I got my gauge and manual I got my two gallon reservoir it tells me what was included with it solenoid upgrade uh, reducer bushing a few other things shows you how to connect it in there uh, you also have your safe injection instructions as well. Uh, safe injection instructions here, and it also will tell you what was included in that one as well. Here it tells you contents and things like that. And then you also have your basic instruction manual that comes with the kit. And depending on what horsepower that you're using, they add what kind of nozzles that you need and it will tell you in the book what what horsepower that you're doing for what kind of application right in here it tells you engines with mild boost this much engines running high boost but with this nozzle with these particular nozzles here um, I will probably go in with the 375 at first and tune out my car and then probably put the 625 in there as well now there's a spot inside the book it tells you which ones they are because the actual nozzles themselves do not tell you a 375. They just have a n one number stamped on the side, a number six, and it will tell you in the book what number six or number three or number two is. Now, the solenoid here comes with the uh, reservoir. You have the float that comes with the reservoir. Uh, Seemed like there was one more other thing that came with it. So these three items are basically what comes with your upgrade. This keeps the uh, backflow from siphoning out of your uh, reservoir in, into the engine and just kind of siphoning out. It cuts it off. It's an on and off switch basically for the hose. It works in conjunction with this guy in here to let you know that this is flowing properly. And this tells you a signal. It goes to here. And I also have a, a electronic boost module. It's an Apexi boost module. It has a fail safe on it as well. And this is going to connect to that to send a 12 volt signal to drop my boost once uh, it recognizes that I'm either having a problem with the flow or not getting enough flow or perhaps no flow at all. Motor may go out, may run out of fluid. There could be several things. So. I got it just in case because I have a, a performance build. Uh, this is part of the system that I upgraded to. This is the Stage 3. This will help you program everything to it. It's going to give you uh, features like uh, what boost that you're running at to give you what kind of percentage of injection that you need and it will also uh, start reading the percentage of uh, fuel injection that you're doing also comes with this heavy duty high pressure pump now, I thought this was a little bit overkill for what it is but uh, these guys know what they're doing they're, they're experts I've looked at other companies before and I believe this one was uh, going to be the more, most beneficial ones to me so far I spent quite a bit of money for this 
and it seems like I've got a pretty good amount of items here. Uh, the instructions look pretty good and straightforward. They also have pictures and things on here. Uh, just a few other things on here. Just where the heck am I going to mount everything in my vehicle? 